Greetings, YouTube. I want to start off this video with a huge shout out to this summoner, Mr. Stephen Fireheart. You might recognize his name from some of the crystal openings he has submitted, whether it be videos or screenshots, for bringing this to my attention because, <clears throat> you see, I do the arena every day and I've never noticed this. I've never thought about this and I feel like that makes me very pathetic because given how often I do the arena, I should have noticed this, but I just never look. Like, I only look at PI for some reason. Maybe I'm the only one, but like, I think, okay, I've got uh, a 17,000, in this case, Silver Surfer against a 13,000 Luke Cage. No big deal. Uh, now, every once in a while, I'll lose one of these matchups and I'll think, man, I suck. And maybe I do. But what I never thought about was why. Why is it that if I make one or two mistakes, and we know at this point in the game, more than ever, there are lag issues, there are drop rate issues, and I want to use this video as maybe a start to a different video, which is I heard last night for uh, one of the many times this week that parries are not just not registering, but in some cases, they're, they're even saying parry on the screen, but they're not stunning the opponent. You know, of course, if you have a perfectly timed parry, which is a perfectly timed block, you're supposed to reverse stun the opponent and encounter. And I've had people tell me, like, and this isn't in certain, because you could say, well, maybe the node was causing it, right? No, this is in, like, the arena, right? Um, so I don't know if you are experiencing parry issues, but please let me know if that's something that should be discussed in a video, because a couple months ago, that was an issue. Last month didn't really seem to be too much of an issue, so I didn't make a video on it. But maybe that problem has returned, and I don't want to drop the ball on that. Okay, back to this issue. So... Steven noticed that even though he had a higher PI, he was fighting what appeared to be rank 5, level 65, 6 stars on Kang's team. Which is freaking impossible because we don't even have access right now to rank 4, 6 stars for anybody in the contest. If you were able to buy all of the whale offers for tier 3 alpha catalyst fragments and tier 6 basic, which it's crazy to even say those words, you would have the start of a rank 4, but you are still very, very far off from being able to do that. So, he said, maybe it's just a, a glitch. Maybe it's just something that uh, isn't really there. Maybe they're rank 3s and they say they're rank 5s. And so he wanted to do some further investigating and pass on the information to the channel. And so when he pulled up this Luke Cage, yes, it's level 15, but it is rank 565 as a 6 star. Uh, and so that is 3,900 attack and 56,000 health. And so what Kabam is doing, essentially, is since they can't tweak the uh, the matchups with uh, PI like they did when... Remember when we used to get crazy death matches after the win streak of 15 and they were saying, oh, this is good for arena grinders, but really it was not? Well, this is kind of a way for them to still technically be within the agreed infinite streak terms with the arena grinding community, but still make it a more difficult fight. And so here we go, 56,000 health, 4,100 attack. Uh, now I will say this, those numbers are comparable to my rank three six star champions. So at least it's not like 10,000 attack but at the same time, I, I think it's kind of bizarre and a little bit weird that they can, like, <laughs> legally bust out rank 5, 65, 6 stars when, uh, when we don't have access as players to having a chance to do that anytime soon. And I want to say in this video, again, I don't want us to have access to those champions anytime soon. Um... But, you know, I, I do think it is it is a way for Kabam to put some relatively tough matchups and maybe it's the SIG level that is uh, causing their PI to be so low. Maybe it's the fact that they don't have maybe any mastery points in some of these people and so that's why their PI is so low. Um, because, again, when I look at the attack and I look at the health, I think, well, that's not that big a deal. But... Maybe a rank 565 6 star is the same as a rank 3 6 star when you consider that uh, we have 60 points of masteries, maybe less than that, I don't know, uh, 
to boost health and attack and these champions maybe have no mastery points and they're just going strictly off of like if you were to take all mastery points out of rank 5 65 six stars you would start with a base health of of 49,935 in this case with Gwenpool and 4158 attack that does make me wonder like with full suicides what would this what would these numbers be but you can see like he has done his uh, research and hey fighting iron fist or loki or even yellow jacket still better than fighting medusa and uh modok and iron man infinity war um i i think lately the toughest trio of matchups i've gotten kingpin i hate fighting in the arena maybe it's just me but i have been wrecked by some kingpins lately uh and then i still am terrible at fighting nova just the worst and i hate when i'm talking about that in arena and people are like nova's easy just use scarlet witch yeah because if i bring in emma frost void and sunspot i can just totally teleport my five star scarlet witch into the matchup to uh to face nova that's not exactly how uh how the arena system works uh so while i don't think it's that big of a deal because the health and the attack is still relatively similar to what we can do with our full masteries as champions right now uh, with our rank three and rank even two six star champions it's still kind of uh, bizarre that this is where it's taking and I do think what Kabam is going to end up doing is as we do have the opportunity to take six stars to rank four of course just like we did with six stars to rank three that infinite streak requirement for a total uh PI of champions is going to go up and maybe just maybe suddenly Kang's team is going to have awakened juggernaut at 17,000 PI and maybe 70,000 health and 6,000 attack instead of what it is right now but uh, I, I think this is not a big deal right now but it's still worth monitoring and I really do appreciate uh, Steven's ability to to do the, the research to look these uh, defenders up to to see that they are SIG 20 or SIG 12 or SIG 9 and that they have the, uh, well, the foundation for being defenders. Because, you know, we always fight Kang's team, right? Uh, being defenders that will fight forever. I, I do wonder sometimes when they put these in here, like, is this a way to attempt to curve bots or some kind of cheating but given what has been explained to me about what arena bots use, it seems like they could put rank 10, 13 star defenders out there and it still wouldn't make a difference. The program would easily defeat the defenders, which kind of makes me die inside. And yet that is the reality of so much of the continued um, arena leaders, especially as I covered yesterday in my channel the lower two star and three star arenas and there are people who still say what's the big deal well the big deal is that they're grinding all these resources illegally and then using those resources to make money uh in the greater gifting event if nothing else which i said this yesterday if i had access to a program like that and nobody was going to stop me and i knew i could make in some cases tens of thousands of dollars it's tough to tell that person, yeah, you should just stop because, you know, ethically it's it's pretty shady. Yeah, I don't, that's not how that works. So, Kabam's got to continue to step up their uh, security and their way to detect obvious arena cheating in order to uh, maybe have some trust with the player base, but even then it's going to it's gonna take a while. All right, uh, Steven Fireheart, thank you for firing me up with this information. I, uh, I think this is the last picture you sent me, and it is. So I, I got through it. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. I do think it is the foundation for them using these champions to to max their attack and uh, health more. But for the moment, it's mainly just rank 3 6 stars that are disguised as rank 5 6 stars when you click on them.